Hi, this is Brian Rogers, Senior Manager at Armanino. Thought we would walk through a little bit of reporting in Workday Adaptive Planning today. Uh, as I get into the solution, you'll notice the navigation menu, the W over here gives me everything that's in the model. I'll go straight to my reports. And you can see I've got quite a few saved as my favorites. I'll go to the overview here. And this shows me my options and what I have. Uh, first thing is I've got four different folders. One is a favorites folder, and that's what shows up when I navigate to the menu and I, and I look at reports. Those are the first ones that show. Uh, personal reports are ones that I'm working on. I'm not ready to share with my team. Shared reports, uh, I can add all kinds of different folders like I have here. This is where I'm going to share different reports with my team members. And then I can have reusable reports, reports where I've got uh, certain things in, in columns and rows that I want to uh, compare. Uh, and this is where on the when I'm building a new report over on the far right, I have the different options, matrix model, transaction pattern, report book. Matrix is where most of your reporting is done. Modeled reports are, are things from a model sheet in adaptive. So what we would normally see in model sheets in adaptive things that have multiple dimensions and dates, uh, such as uh, personnel planning, capital planning, revenue recognition and in some of the revenue models. You might have transactions that you want to see. What were the transactions for these GL accounts over these time periods? Pattern uh, report is where you could do a rev rec kind of thing and see the development of uh, revenue. Report book, a good example of that is just really a bunch of reports that you're running as a book simultaneously. Upload, this is where you can upload uh, anything into a folder in Adaptive. You know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, from your from uh, any source uh, you can upload into there uh, auto trail search this is where you could say you know who made what change to the model when by individual but by account by level real flexible there most of your report building is going to be in the matrix and i'll show you how this works real quick and you could see uh, this is all you know point and click drag and drop with the mouse i've got an empty canvas of columns and rows here I'm going to go to my columns, I'm um, sorry, my accounts, and I am going to just grab some expenses that I want to see in greater detail here. Grab my operating expenses. And when I'm building a report in Workday Adaptive Planning, I just grab one of the first four items here uh, each, and then I, I may or may not have some of these other ones, but accounts, time, levels, versions, uh, those really need to be in just about every uh, different report that you build here. And on the level, uh, I'm just going to use total company. And on the version, I'm going to compare, I'm going to compare my actuals to my working budget for the year. And because I've got a two uh, actual plan, a lot of times we're going to see a difference there. And so I want to go to my properties. I've got some options here, a variance percent. I can say, you know, I'm subtracting actuals from budget. I want to actually subtract budget from actuals. Uh, a lot of different ways you can, you can do this. Just make a couple quick changes here and hit apply. And then I just hit my arrow again with my mouse and it produces my report and you can see I've got my different GL accounts uh, actual to budget with the variance I could have brought in you know month and year to date I can easily click on the plus sign and see the details behind it I can add notes but this is an HTML report I can run this to Excel to PDF I can email a link to uh, others that have access to the solution and I might have uh, other reports that I've built in here this is Pretty typical to see this kind of a expense variance analysis report, um, maybe where you're comparing month to, uh, you know, the budget. I'm just going to update this for March, and you can see can easily select another month and compare, you know, really any any month uh, to another on a actual to budget month year to date. Uh, put notes on here, do some conditional formatting based on the variance. Uh, add notes, I could drill into different accounts and see transaction level detail. Um, so a lot you can do on here if you want to 
to drill into this. I could see this by org level if I wanted to. So real flexible uh, on these. And you could easily save these and, like I said, share them with your team. Now, if you have other reports that are really being done in uh, in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, we have what's called Office Connect. Office Connect allows you to dynamically connect all your data in your Workday Adaptive Planning model to anything that you have in Excel, Word, or PowerPoint. In this case, I've actually uh, updated this for March already. I'm actually gonna go backwards here. I'm gonna take, you know, this is all uh, dynamically updated, but with March data, um, <clears throat> I want to uh, actually saw, see how that looked last month. And I'm gonna say <clears throat> yes to uh, February here, and I'm gonna update all my sheets. And you can see I'm gonna easily change from February to, or from March to February on here. And this is gonna update every single sheet that I have in this uh, particular example. And I, you know, of course I can go back. I can say, look, you know, maybe I was, I was done with February and I wanted to see what March looks like or any other month um, and update all my sheets. And you'll see this September through February is now gonna be updated from October through March with the associated, you know, March month and year to date and prior year and, and so on. So uh, very easy to do that. I can drill back into the solution, figure out where the data came from, I've got a review button over here that tells me all about the account that my cursor is on, uh, and I can easily create new reports at any given level. So we see uh, all of our clients taking full advantage of this, uh, of this reporting mechanism. Thanks for your time.